uh, for the second way that um, of uh, creating a skyblock world. I'm going to show you how you can uh, create a completely void world and then use commands to spawn in a block uh, beneath you. Uh, and for the third way, we're just uh, I'm just going to show you how you can uh, download a world from the internet and then just use that world uh, already as uh, built and set. Uh, so uh, the first method is you have to go to single player, create new world, then let's just uh, name the world Skyblock so I could uh, discern it from all my other worlds. Uh, Skyblock 1. Uh, now you have to go to creative, uh, more world options, uh, generate structures. I recommend you to set this to off and that is because actually even if you create a, a world full of the void, a void world, uh, there's still going to be, there, there's a small chance that there might be some villages spawning. Uh, so I'm not I'm not exactly sure about the mechanics of it but just to be sure just turn that off. Uh, now of course the world type would be super flat, then customize, presets, uh, then scroll all the way down, and then as you can see right here, there's this um, super flat preset called The Void, and as you can see in this box up here, it says 3 Minecraft Air 127 Decoration, and this will basically, let's go ahead and, uh, and as you can see there's air, let's go ahead and uh, uh, generate this world. Um, now as you can see, we spawn on this um, fairly large stone platform. Uh, and to create a skyblock world, what you're going to do is you're going to go in your inventory, uh, then take out a bedrock, and then place the bedrock in the center, and then whatever means, and then you can use whatever means necessary to get rid of this whole island. Now, I'm planning to blow it up, and also the reason why you have to use bedrock is because if you lay this island up with TNT and blow it up, there's a small chance that you could risk blowing the whole island up, but we have to have at least one block onto which to build. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, stack it up with TNT. Alright, now that most of the island is blown away by the TNT, that explosion was quite epic, so let's go ahead and destroy the rest of these little uh, blocks that are currently remaining. Uh, so yeah, let's just uh, go ahead and break all these blocks, and now we should be left with only one bedrock block in the middle. And now we're going to use this bedrock block for our foundation for our skyblock island. So let's go ahead and get all the necessary materials required to create a skyblock island. So let's get dirt, grass block, sand, uh, let's get a chest, uh, these stupid achievements. Uh, so uh, now let's just lay this around with dirt as you see me do right here. And then let's go three out here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now it should look like this. Then go ahead and go one, two, three up to here, and then add three more blocks right here so that it would be symmetric and kind of like a right triangle right here and have it go up and then to the right. Uh, now, what this basically is, is there's just three uh, th squares of uh, uh, three by three. And then in the middle of these three squares, place some sand. So as you can see, there's uh, one, two, three, three pieces of sand. Uh, then lay this around with more dirt right here. So let's just uh, place this all around. This is this is the same method of creating a skyblock island pretty much for all ways. I have been just showing you different ways on how to get a, a world void. So then just cover the top up with, uh, with grass. And then wherever you want to, you can place uh, a chest. Well, I mean, it has to be here, or you could either place one here. But since I placed it here, then you have to place a tree here. So uh, let's get an oak sapling. Let's now get some bone meal out because we got to grow it real quick. Uh, now, hopefully, it's going to be a good tree because uh, 
So as you can see, this is probably one of the best trees for Skyblock because it's not too large and too small. Uh, now, this looks pretty much exactly like the original Skyblock, uh, except without that island over there. I don't like having it anyway. And then right here in this chest, just place some... Uh, let's see, let's place some sugar cane, one sugar cane, uh, then place cactus, one cactus block. Uh, oh, yes, there we go, one cactus block. Uh, then place, let's see, then place a lava bucket, so, um, place a lava bucket first, then take two pieces of ice and place two ice in here. Uh, and then just place the cactus sugar cane. Now, some people also put some other things, but in my opinion, this is, uh, more than enough what you need for skyblock actually some version of skyblock even have only one lava and one ice so um, yeah this was the first method we started out with a large platform and now we are reduced to this small nice but cozy island in the middle of the void and now on to step uh, well not step now on to method two Alright, now for the second method, you're going to go ahead and create another world, and I'm going to name the world Skyblock 2. Oh, there you go, Skyblock 2. So now, once again, you have to go into creative mode, more world options. You have to set generate structures to off, because there is a small chance that it might spawn in some villages, depending on what super flat preset you use. Uh, you have to allow cheats on, because other than that, you're not going to be able to execute any commands otherwise. Uh, once again, we go to super flat, customize, preset. And then instead of using the void super flat preset, we're going to go ahead and click on classic flat. So go ahead and up into this text bar right here and pretty much delete everything which is in here. And then type in zero, zero, just like I have it here. And then basically what this is going to do is this is going to spawn in a... Uh, a world with no blocks in it so it's just going to be an empty world it's full of uh just and completely empty world with only air so it's going to it's going to be basically a void world uh, so as you can see air height top one then create the world and then when it loads up we're basically going to spawn in this yeah there we go we're going to spawn in this uh completely empty world so then let's go ahead and go up to at least around 60. So as you can see where it says X, Y, Z, it says negative 1,214 and then slash. And then in that second one, as you can see, it's about 80. So let's go ahead to around 65 or around 64. That's a good height to start our uh, Skyblock Island. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go down in the description of this video and below there you're going to find a special command which is going to spawn in a special block. Well, not a special. It's going to spawn in a block beneath uh, the player in Minecraft. So just go ahead and copy that command and then when you go into Minecraft you just you, you press T to open the text box and then you press Control V. What that's going to do is it's going to paste the command into the text box in Minecraft, and then all you have to do is press enter. So when you press enter, it's basically going to spawn, it's going to spawn a block under you. Uh, now, unlike the other method where we had to start out with a large island and then destroy all the blocks except one, this method, it places a block beneath you so you don't have to go through the hassle of destroying all those blocks. So once again, let's go ahead and take a bedrock block place it on top here there we go nice and destroy that bottom block also now if you forgot how to make a skyblock island you can just rewind this video and look at method one where i actually build up the whole island um so from here all all you do is you just follow the same thing that we did in the last method these methods are pretty much all the same except you uh except they're just different ways of getting the skyblock world now for method three we're going to be downloading uh, the skyblock world from a third party source from the internet and that's going to involve us having to move files from one folder to another we're going to have to go into the dot minecraft hidden folder which is in your app data folder and uh yeah, this this method is quite efficient if you don't have to, if you don't want to deal with having to spawn with a huge island, if you don't want to deal with uh, downloading potentially malicious files from the internet, this method is for you. Uh, but I'm going to move on to the third method now. So for the third method, we're going to go to a third party website, and I'm currently on www.skyblock.net. 
Uh, now, I'm going to have a link in the description to this exact website download page, so you can go ahead and go in the description and click on the link so you can go to this page. Now, as you can see right here, it says download Skyblock V1.0. Just press that. That's going to download the Skyblock world on your PC. It should take only a few seconds. It's only 782 kilobytes in size. Now, this is not actually the world itself, but it's zipped in a special folder. It's zipped in a special file called uh, called a dot .zip file. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use 7-zip to unzip this file. Uh, and I'm going to have the link to download 7-zip, which is a free and very safe program that you can use to unzip to unzip files very quickly and zip files. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a new folder wherever you want to. I'm going to create one on my desktop. So I'm going to write, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to create it and call it Skyblock 1.0. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take this Skyblock 7-zip world and then file and then drag it right over here in this folder right here. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and press 7-zip and then press extract here. Now to have the 7-zip show up on your right click you have to download it beforehand so like I said before I'm gonna have a link in the description to download 7-zip although you can use other programs like WinZip but they're usually uh, they're usually not free but you can still use them and of course the interface will look a little bit different depending on what program you use uh, so right here I'm gonna write I'm gonna put I'm gonna press extract here and then this is going to let's just refresh this and this is going to extract the two folders which were inside this zip file now the first folder is Mac OS X and this is the world which you can use for Macs but since I'm using a PC a Windows PC this is Skyblock 1.0 this is the world that we need so click inside it and as you can see here are all of the different uh, folders that you need for the world to properly function so this is the folder itself that we have to drag into our Minecraft save folder and to find the Minecraft save folder we have to press you have to press Windows button plus R and what's that's going to do is it's going to open a, a little window called run and in this window in this little um, bar right over here text bar you have to type in percent app data percent and then you can press OK or just pr press enter on your keyboard and what's that's going to do is it's going to open up your app data roaming folder and on top here you should have your dot minecraft folder so enter it right here then this is your saves folder go down here press it right here and then this is where all of your saves for your Minecraft worlds are contained in. This is basically where all your worlds are in, in file. Uh, so all you have to do is take the Skyblock 1.0 world, do not take the 7-zip world, and don't take the Mac OS X world. Unless, of course, you're using Mac. But I'm not using Mac, I'm using Windows, and probably most people are too. Uh, so take the Skyblock 1.0 folder, and drag it over here, move to saves. And as you can see, Right here, we have our Skyblock 1.0 world. And now that it's in the saves folder, it should show up in the Minecraft directory, in the Minecraft saves, in the Minecraft game client, uh, which we're going to launch right now. So go ahead and launch Minecraft. I'm going to launch it right here as well. I don't really like the new launcher, to be honest. So there we go, Minecralix. So now I'm going to show you in 1.12, which is the latest release. So let's launch that. Oh, I already have a game running. I see. There we go. Let me just... Uh... Okay, there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to single player and then just scroll down to the very, very bottom. That's where the world is usually at. And I think that the worlds actually correspond to the um, to the way that they're organized in here too. So if the Skyblock world shows up at the very very bottom of my saves folder then it's going to be at the very very bottom in the minecraft client as well so as you can see since it's at the very bottom it's at the very bottom here as well so it's usually at the bottom but depending on how it's organized it can 
uh, show up wherever, so you have to search for it quite well. I mean, I have tons of worlds here, so it makes it very difficult to search for worlds. So anyway, let's launch our Skyblock world. So I'm keeping this in uh, in minimized. I'm keeping this. Uh, I'm keeping this Minecraft. F this Minecraft in minimized. Um, I'm keeping this Minecraft window minimized, and as you can see, right here we have just spawned on this Minecraft island, and this is what we have. 12 string, lava bucket, bone, sugar canes, pumpkin seeds, ice, mushrooms, melon, and cactus. Now this is actually the first version of Skyblock, so this island looks a little bit different than the ones I built in Method 1 and Method 2, but of course we have much more things in this Skyblock world than in the one that I built uh, in the two previous methods. So, anyway, this is the third way of getting a skyblock island. So, yes, and there's, there is, there is actually still one sand here and, and a bedrock there. So, anyway, thank you very very much for watching. Uh, if you if this tutorial helped you and if you enjoyed watching this, please subscribe and uh, please leave a like. Um, so, uh, let's shoot for ten likes. I hope that we can get ten likes on this video. I think that's very possible. So, yeah, please please rate subscribe comment please leave feedback uh, on what I could improve I'm going to be making a new skyblock let's play in a few days uh, I might actually make one probably right now right after I finish filming this episode but anyway thank you very very much for watching this is Minecraft and see you all on the next video